At her release party for her highly anticipated album 143 on Friday in West Hollywood, Katy Perry dressed to impress in a cohort with a snakeskin design and a high-waisted thong. The 39-year-old California girl singer dismissed the mediocre response to her debut single, Women's World, and instead made a very daring fashion statement. Katy wore a micro-tiny skirt that she put over her panties to show off her toned abs, channeling the fashion of the 2000s. The American singer wore a crop top with an opening panel around her chest to match her skirt, going braless. She wore matching dress gloves with golden buckles around the edges to finish the snakeskin effect. The gloves extended to the tops of her arms. She slipped into some black knee-high snakeskin heeled boots, which gave her toned body an inch. She accessorized minimally, opting for a black purse and a stylish pair of black sunglasses to complete the ensemble. Carmen Electra attracted attention as well when she showed up at the celebration donning a full-body fishnet one-piece layered over a silky, bright red satin dress. A dramatic high ponytail and a pair of shimmering silver heels completed her ensemble. On September 20th, Katy Perry's seventh studio album is scheduled for release. Although the new release's tracklist hasn't been properly revealed yet, songs including Gimme Gimme, with 21 Savage, Nirvana, and I'm His, He's Mine have been teased via Instagram Live. The code for I Love You is typically 143. It was first used on pager devices in the early 1990s and indicates the number of letters in each word, 1-4, 4-4, love, and 3-4, you. Woman's World and Lifetimes, two of her previously released hits, will also be on the album. The singer was allegedly pointing the fingers at everyone but herself after both songs failed to chart, according to the insider who gave this information exclusively. A source stated that Katie is extremely conscious of the feedback that Woman's World is receiving, which is why she is freaking out right now. She is pointing the finger at everyone but herself, but it is her own fault, the statement continued. After releasing the Woman's World patriotic-themed video, which pushed toward stereotypes of the pseudo-empowering woman, Katie received mixed opinions. We're kind of just having fun, being a bit sarcastic with it, she said in a behind-the-scenes video, justifying the image. It's really on the nose and slapstick. This set is similar to, we truly are about the masculine gaze, even though we claim otherwise, Perry clarified, and we're really overplaying it and on the nose. She also faced criticism for the video's sexualized content and for collaborating with music producer Dr. Luke following Kesha's legal dispute with him, in which Kesha accused him of abusing her sexually, physically, and psychologically. Despite being promoted as a song that empowers women, Woman's World was deemed unoriginal and hypocritical. LOL was posted on Kesha's ex account on social media in reaction to Katie's attempt at a feminist song. After filming her most recent music video for Lifetimes on guarded sand dunes in the Balearic Islands, Katie has also faced criticism. The administration of the Spanish archipelago has since initiated an inquiry into the production that occurred without authorization. A spokeswoman for Katie's label, Capitol Records, stated, the local video production company assured us that all necessary permits for the video were secured. Despite receiving verbal approval to proceed, we have recently discovered that one permit remained pending. We have the utmost respect for this location and the officials tasked with protecting it, they continued, adhering to all rules related to filming here.